اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Now that we have assessed or evaluated our formative model, our reflective model, we have assessed the reflective models for reliability and validity and we have validated our formative model. Now that we have done or we are done with the outer model, the next step is to assess the relationship between constructs, whether or not those relationships are significant or not. Now, In the next few sessions, we are going to focus on evaluating our structural model. Now, in order to know the difference between measurement model and structural model, the link is shared in the description. Now, first, obviously, we assess the measurement model to assess the quality criteria of our constructs. Once the quality criteria is established, the next step is your structural model. Once you have confirmed that the measurement of constructs is reliable and valid, the next step addresses the assessment of structural model results. Now, figure shows a systematic approach of structural model assessment. Here is your figure. Now, here are the steps that we are going to take. Step 1, we assess the collinearity issues in structural model. Step 2, we assess the significance and relevance of structural model relationship. Step 3, we assess the model explanatory power. and these two steps will be done later before once i go into this step then i'm going to talk about moderation and mediation and then i'm going to come back to these steps later in the first step you need to examine the structural model for potentially collinearity issues now why is this your step 1 the reason is that the estimation path coefficients in the structural model are based on ordinary least squares regression of each endogenous construct on its corresponding predictor constructs now the path coefficient might be biased if the estimation involves high levels of collinearity among predictor constructs now if there is high collinearity among predictor constructs then your path coefficients may be biased so you should assess the collinearity of your constructs once you have ensured the collinearity is not problem you will evaluate the significance and relevance of structural model relationship that is path coefficients so you will assess whether or not the relationship between different constructs is significant or not step 3 and 4 of the procedure involve examining the models explanatory and predictive power and finally we've got model comparisons As model comparisons are not relevant for every PLS SCM analysis, step 5 will be performed later in the series. These two steps, step 4 and step 5, will be performed after I have discussed moderation and mediation analysis using SEMINAR. So the first step, multicollinearity. How do we assess multicollinearity? Again, we have already done this for items and for our formative model now structural model coefficients for the relationship between constructs are derived from estimating a series of regression equations now as point estimates and standard errors errors can be biased by strong correlation of each set of predictor constructs so the predictor construct may have higher correlation with each other and then your point estimates may get biased now again for this purpose you will have to assess your collinearity issues Now how do we do this we will check for variance inflation factor and the VIF value between 3 to 5 shows that there are no critical issues of multicollinearity anything greater than this may show that there is a collinearity problem and in that case you may want to create higher order constructs now how do we do this where is our illustration now again just a quick recap So you've got your library, your data, measurement model specified, structural model specified, PLS model estimated. You summarize your results. Now, in order to assess the collinearity, what I need to do is I need to simply call in this sub object, that is summary underscore simple, which is already created. Look at this. This is summary underscore simple holding the estimated model here, the summary of the estimated model, and what you need to do is just summary. underscore simple dollar sorry the dollar sign and we need vif of antecedents click here 
and then run it and here are your look at this less than three all of them so there is no issue of multicollinearity among the antecedents now in this case i'm using the same model as we did earlier we are going to have complex examples once we finish through the mediation and moderation now as we can see obviously the vif values are well below the threshold so it can be concluded that collinearity among predictor constructs is likely not a critical issue in the structural model and we can continue examine the result report now moving on that now we have assessed the collinearity the next step is assessing the structural relationship now this is your step two assessing the structural relationships